And um, this isn't this is about cons bio, but this is really about just stuff in general. And so I thought, uh, well, I'll just we'll talk about this for a couple seconds. So this is a general uh, info for you guys um, about success. So um, what 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 we found over the years. What many of the, the college professor type folks have found over the years is that there's a, a growing disconnect between what we, the amount of time and work we expect you guys to be putting into classes and what you guys expect to put into classes. And this really, I don't have the data post pandemic, but this, this really seems to have changed in the, in the post COVID world. But regardless, um, uh, the amount of time per any one class even at big research universities, engineering schools, that kind of stuff, the average is, is pretty low. It's, it's about four hours outside of class people report spending. And this, and this happens all over the place. So this happens in, um, in, in undergraduate intro, uh, you know, community college situations, uh, big research universities, all, the, all over the place. And the reality is um, I expect, and all of your college professors expect, um, that to do the minimum proficiency, meaning to get a C, so to, to you know, do okay, that's not, C's not bad, but you know, to, to do C-level work, it's at least two to three hours outside of class for every hour inside class, at least, at least, right? Okay. In reality, when we survey you guys and ask, hey, how much time do you guys put, you guys are, it's more like 15 minutes half an hour for every hour in class. Um, and so indeed, this is our, we have a, you guys might not know this, but we have a freshman guide. Maybe you read it, maybe you didn't read it. But, but in there, it actually says the same thing. It says, it says, we expect you guys to spend two hours outside of class for every hour in class. So what does that mean? Okay, let's talk about the, the data that you guys gave me on Monday about, and so I just average everybody's stuff, right? And this is not, Telling somebody they're lame or whatever, this is just our, our aggregate class experience, right? So, so you guys are reporting that you're working on average outside of class in your, your you know, paid jobs about 19 hours a week, okay, on, on average. Some people zero, some people have more, but, but on average 19. And when I asked you guys um, how many uh, hours outside of this class you think you should be putting into the class on an average week, your guys' average response was about five and a half hours, right? And so we have three hours on Monday, we have three hours today, so we have six hours of in-class, right? So, that, so you, you guys are thinking on an average a little bit less than an hour outside for every hour we have quote unquote inside class, right? And so, so if you guys are working the average amount and you're doing just the, or sorry, sorry and then this, this, is, this is how many units you guys are taking overall. So I was, I'm trying to do some simple stuff here. At a minimum, we're probably talking like 70 hours, right, of outside of class time for your work, for, for classes, and it's probably significantly more than that. And so I just mentioned that because we just had Christmas, things have been crazy of late, we're getting back in the norm, and so just make sure you're planning for that, right? And so this is, this is not me getting angry at you being dad, this is just me wanting you guys to do well. And so, so think about that, right? So, so most of you are underestimating the amount of time to do just minimum performance by about, about 50%. So, um, and again, that applies for all of our classes and everything. So, so, so uh, on that happy note, let's talk about conservation biology.